Hostile sensor reading detected. Oh crap. Here's trouble. Alright, um, what's up YouTube? This is Demon Waffle here with a video that's gonna go over VATS. Um, well, let's let's get it started right away, huh? So this is the VAT system right here. Um, the numbers you see are percentages on points on the body that you can uh, basically target. So I'm going to choose torso. It has the highest percentage of, of hitting. So there's a 90-something percent chance I was going to hit that. Um, so let's, let's do another one here. So your, your VAT system um, is based off of your AP. Uh, so the higher your AP is, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner here, um, the more times you can click different body parts, so I'm actually out of ammo, so that's why it's not going to let me do another one. But I can, I have like a high percentage chance of hitting this guy right here. And also you can see my crit bar is going up every time it hits. Um, ew, right in the butthole. That was gross. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, I just got killed by a suicide bomber, so I'll be right back talking more about vats. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things about VATS before I go too far into it. I just got blown up by a suicide bomber, then I tried filming again, and then a suicide bomber blew up Piper. So that's, uh, I'm just, I track suicide bombers. I don't know what it is, but they just, they love me. Hi, Piper. I'm glad you're alive. So basically, the VAT system allows you to slow down time, um, to almost stop. So in the old fallouts, it would completely stop time. This slows it down, so things can still happen while you're in VATS, while you're attempting to shoot people in VATS. And so the VAT system, uh, what it does is it slows down time and it shows you all your targets and you can kind of maneuver through these targets. It's going to show you the uh, percentages of being able to hit the targets on the certain spots. So head, torso, left, right arm, uh, left, right leg. Also, when you go into VATs, if you're near any mines or anything like that, it's also going to, it's also going to pick up on those. So you can shoot those mines, turrets, anything like, uh, like that. It's also going to pick up as long as it's in the line of sight. So as long as you can see it. So there's no enemies here. There might be an enemy in this building, but I can't just hit VATs and just see people through walls. It's not going to let you do wall hacks, anything like that. Um, but so one main thing to focus on in VATs is your AP. So your AP is, uh, I don't know if it's actually going to show it. I think it's under stats. Yeah. So I have 75 AP, and now when you raise your AP through perks, um, you're going to be able to use your VATs more often, as well as if you, uh, if you, let's say you level up your uh, your perk chart, if I can maybe push my fingers correctly, uh, if you do agility in your perk chart, so if you do just straight agility, you're going to get higher action points, um, and this is going to give you the ability to sneak, and also uh, you're going to have more action points when you're using VATs. So you're going to have more shots. So like you saw before, I had two shots on him. And that's because or three, I was allowed three shots when I had full AP. That's because I only have 75 AP. Um, if I have any less than full AP, I can usually only do one or two shots depending on what type of weapon it is, things like that. Um, so I'm using a double barrel shotgun. I'm going to go show you some more VATs real quick. Okay, so I went back and I'm going to show you how to use VATs one more time. Maybe I won't die this time. Um, so like you said, like I said before, the percentages is how high. So if I go right leg, let's say I hit torso a couple times and I want to be a little bit crazy and go for the head. Um, so it's going to try each one of these places and my percentages. So I missed once in the body. I'm going to go for the head, miss the head. Um, so now I have no AP. So now you kind of just got to, um, bring them around for a few minutes while you wait for your, for a few seconds while you wait for your AP to get back, um, or finish them off like me. So I'm going to wait for something else. Yep, there's another synth. There's a synth strider. These guys are a little bit more difficult to kill. So maybe we can test another one on that guy. All right. Oh, gosh. That's not good. That car's on fire. Run! Push the wrong button. Okay. So let's use it again. Um, let's use Vats. Let's actually switch to melee. Let's switch to a melee weapon. Let's show you guys what a melee weapon looks like. Um, let's see. I have a combat knife, and I also have a baseball bat. Um... What do you guys want to see? Let's do... So that's 23 damage, but it's slow. There's 13 damage, but it's fast. Oh, it does more against robots. Let's do this. Well, actually, that's a synth. Just kidding. That's not the same. Let's do a baseball bat. Let's try it out. All right, where's that effer at? Where's he? Where are you at, brah? Okay, he's running around. Let's kill him. All right, so that's... So there's only one spot you can hit him when you're using uh, melee, and it's just... You just hit him. Oh, and that was terrible. Holy cow. He's going to kill me. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to a weapon because that was terrible. Um, 33 damage. 58 damage? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this guy and let's use vats now. And so he got out of the way, so there's no point in trying to waste my vats now. Okay, so kind of wait for him. All right, we can do it again. So let's go around the corner, then, then pull up vats so I can hit him in the torso. 
and I don't have enough AP to do it more than once. So I'm just gonna do it one time, and it's gonna do a decent amount of damage. Let's see. Cool, and then I'm gonna reload, and I'm waiting for my AP to shoot up, so I'm just gonna wait a second. I'll let Piper fight him for a second, because I definitely wanna show you when it does it more than once. Okay. So this is how you use it. Oh, I don't have enough for crit yet. I'll wait for enough for crit, and then I'll show you guys some more too. All right, so I have enough for my critical now. I just gotta wait for my AP for a few more seconds. And I'll show you guys how, what a critical does and how it hits and everything and the cool animations you get. All right, so this guy's just annoying me now. So torso, um, I only get a target once. And then what you do is you accept it and then you hit spacebar for critical. And it's gonna hit, basically, I believe it does 1.5 times damage or two times damage, something like that. But it's gonna be, uh, as long as it hits, it's an automatic critical and it does a lot more damage. Um, so let's finish off this raider. Oh, don't want to waste my AP. Oh, there's a few more. Okay, cool. I get to show you some more then. So I use this dim pack. Here you go. So the only bad thing about the shotgun is it takes up a lot of uh, AP per shot. So although it does a lot of damage, it takes up a lot of AP. So it's kind of hard to show you multiple shots with it since I have to. Um, it uses so much AP. Let's try this. One more time. Oh, and I died. Holy cow. So that's how you use bats. <laughs> uh, I'm going to end the episode with that. I mean, it's pretty simplistic. I just wanted to show you guys um, kind of like the aspects of it. The fact that the different types of weapons, different types of uh, different amounts of AP it uses. So it, it really depends on what type of weapon it is. It uses different uh, chunks of AP, I guess you can say. And then uh, it also, like I said, it sees mines, turrets, anything like that. Anything that's an enemy, as long as it's in line of sight, it will see it. Um, but like I said, not in line of sight, it won't. Uh, other than that, yeah, definitely if you want to have VATS, uh, be able to use more VATS, I would say upgrade your agility. I really don't have a lot of agility, so it's kind of hard to show you a lot about VATS, but it's pretty simplistic. Um, you can also, like I said, you can use it in melee. You can use it with different weapons. It just, as long as they're in sight, uh, in front of you, you can just use VATS. For PC, the, the hotkey is Q. I don't know what button it is on any of the consoles, so sorry about that. But it's definitely something useful. It, it's hard to get used to if you're like a normal FPS person. So if you're not really used to it, definitely I recommend using it as often as you have AP. Um, I don't usually have a lot of AP because, like I said, it's low, but also because I run a lot. I'm very lazy, which is why I'm never in a power suit either because I really hate walking slow. So... I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about VATS, any questions in general, please let me know. I will respond to the comments. I'm always looking at that for you guys. I'm trying to keep up with it as much as possible. Uh, if, um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, check out my other videos if you have a minute. Uh, and I hope to see you all soon. Have a good day.